people of the internet, my name is Johnny and welcome back to another video. I was finally able to get my hands on this bad boy right here, as well as a few other things that I want to quickly go over right now. You guys may see that the background is changing a little bit, it's because I got new shelves, I'm getting another shelf that looks exactly like this, I'm gonna be rearranging some things. But, I got Blackbird right here. Ooh. I didn't know the green screen was on. Yeah, so Blackbird released uh, yesterday, I believe, on the 29th. It's out right now. You can go read it for yourself. I also got a frame for this. If you saw my FNAF Hero merchandise video, you saw that I got this poster right here, and I got a frame for it. It looks amazing. Don't know where it's going to go yet, but it'll definitely be in the background, hopefully. I got some more FNAF mystery minis. Normal Freddy. Normal Roxanne. I got yet another one of the shiny, green, sparkly uh, Montgomery figures. My brother wanted one since I had duplicates, so I gave him the other one. Probably the most Pog Champ thing is Metallic Glamrock Freddy. Finally got him. He is one of the rarest, I believe, at a 1 in 72. If it would focus, that would be a fantastic camera. There it is. Look at that bad boy right there. Awesome. However, um, the main focus point for this video is the brand new, I say brand new, it's been out for a little bit, McFarlane Deluxe Concert Stage Construction Set from FNAF 6, aka Pizza Sim. I just finished putting it together and oh boy was it a pain, not gonna lie, especially the figures. So this is the set. <laughs> Look at Bonnie, by the way. He, you could tell, I had some struggle with him and not only that, but his eyes, man. What's what's up, Bonnie? You looking a bit, looking a bit odd. I'll get better shots of it uh, as I talk about it. Actually, I'll put it up right now. Uh, honestly, it's not that bad of a set. I believe it's like thirty dollars, thirty-five or something. Pretty good for the price. You also get like two tables that don't actually go onto the set. They just kind of rest on it, which is a little weird. Yeah, the construction manual, nothing special. It doesn't have the um the checklist, which I completely missed in my original video covering the new uh, Wave Six McFarlane sets, the one for the salvage room. I completely missed that. Overall, it's a really good set, very accurate, which is something I really love about McFarlane is that they are always accurate when it comes to their sets. Um, to be honest, uh, Glam, not Glamrock, oh god, I did it again. Rockstar Freddy is a little bit more dark brown than he usually is, but, you know, that's nothing big at all. Of course, Bonnie's eyes, you know, <laughs> they don't look right at all, but that's just the painting job. That's nothing uh, too serious, actually. Comparing it to the actual in-game stage, it's shockingly accurate. Of course, it's missing a few stools, it's missing uh, one of the speakers on the speaker, it's missing a few lights, but overall, pretty accurate. I'm very, very happy with it. The characters are very accurate as well. Chica's bib is always on point. The maracas look fantastic. All the painting jobs, it's amazing. I'm sure I'm missing something, like some um, off-secondary colors on the characters but overall very very accurate though i will say something that i'm a little bit upset about but then again it probably would have cost too much to make um and they would definitely up the price of it is that technically in fnaf 6 you can put four animatronics on the deluxe concept stage so why they didn't do that and add on rockstar foxy i don't know just make it a bit bigger so you can um be able to put another character on there and still like their choice to not do foxy the most fan favorite character in the entire franchise was a bit weird i think we all would have loved would have loved to see a mcfallen foxy glam ah, not glamrock rockstar foxy set with this parrot on the shoulder and the the stick leg the peg leg that would have been great with the thing that does this i don't know what it's freaking called i never know what instruments are called and that's for the box it's a pretty good box. It gets the point across. I don't know why they chose to make Rockstar Bonnie like the main focus point. They made him bigger than Chica and Freddy. I feel like it probably should have been Freddy just because, well, I mean, it's, it's Freddy. Bonnie doesn't even come with his guitar. Come on, man. Also, Freddy is left-handed in the set instead of right-handed. You can fix it, but trust me, it is extremely difficult, so I'm not even gonna try to fix it. We have done reviews on all of the other sets. If you missed it, it'll be linked down below. There also should be an iCord right up there. Really, there's not much else to talk about. I got the set. I didn't build it on stream. I didn't build it like on recording. That's why I'm not doing like a big time lapse of it because, oh boy, this took a while. I was also doing it while um, I was rearranging my room, so couldn't really do both at the same time. Overall, really nice set. I would love to see them do more sets in the future. Um, I don't know what 
you know, events I would want them to do. Definitely Special Delivery, because they've yet to do uh, that yet. I know Funko is just now catching up to Special Delivery, doing action figures, doing uh, plushies, all that stuff. So I feel like the next company to take that opportunity of doing uh, merchandise for Special Delivery should be McFarlane. Though it might be a little bit difficult because it would just be the characters, it would just be the skins. They would need to build a environment around it. So something like Plus Trap would be, you know, probably best, but other than that, I don't know, what else could they do? Of course, I'm sure we're missing some characters that, you know, definitely should get sets. Leave your comments uh, down below. Who would you want to have a set next? Now, I don't know if... Well, I don't know when their next wave is going to be, because this is wave 6. So now they're going to move on to waves, wave 7. Um, they might do some security breach, you know, sets. That would be amazing to see. Get get all the Glamrocks in there, get Fanny, Vanessa, Glitchtrap, all of them fantastic new characters. Also, the coloring book is coming out on the 5th. I know that's not really part of this video, but I'm gonna be getting it. I'll do a video on it. I'll do a live stream on it uh, where we're like coloring and just having a grand old time. Also, the security puppet plushie, I'm getting it on the 2nd. So like three days away. I'm very excited. We'll definitely do a video on that. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye. Gregory, be still. I think she's found us.